Each day, about 34 metric tons of food are loaded and airlifted out of Uganda's Entebbe International Airport. The World Food Programme is aiming at feeding 3 million South Sudanese affected by severe hunger in a country still facing an armed conflict. Food is being airdropped to the worst affected states of Jongle, Upper Nile and Unity states. What happens in uh, South Sudan uh, during the rainy season is that uh, up to 60% uh, of roads are impassable by food truck. And of course, as you know, there's conflict up there. So the World Food Programme, in an effort to reach all these people, sometimes resorts to airdrops. Thousands of civilians have been killed and more than a million forced to flee their homes to neighboring states of Uganda, Kenya and Ethiopia since the conflict began last December. The WFP says the influx of refugees is overwhelming. This is just part of an entire operation that WFP has in regard to the South Sudan crisis. Um, as you know, in the West Nile region in Uganda, South Sudanese refugees continue to arrive. At the moment, it's about 120,000 refugees that are currently living in transit centers or in settlements. A ceasefire agreement signed between President Salva Kiir and rebel leader Riyak Mashal last month has been violated with both sides blaming each other. The World Food Programme estimates over 700 metric tons of food have been airdropped to South Sudan since August and if the situation gets worse, the demand could even grow higher. The food airdrops are expected to continue for the next two months, but it could be longer if the conflict continues. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Entebbe, Central Uganda.